In this lesson, you're going to learn how to find the lateral area, surface area, and volume of a cone. And the first thing we want to talk about is how to work with the formulas. So if you're already familiar with pyramids, the formulas are very similar for a cone. Uh, the lateral area is one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. The perimeter of the base, you can see that's actually going to be a circle. So that's the circumference of a circle. So we can replace the perimeter with 2 pi r. And then L is like the leaning height, the slant height here. And so you can see 1 half times 2 is 1. So that just comes out to pi r L for the lateral area or the sides okay, of the cone. If you want to find the surface area, you just take that lateral area, which we just found, pi r L, and you add on the area of the base. Of course, the base in a cone is a circle, so we use the formula for area of a circle, pi r squared. And then for volume, you can find the area of the base times the height divided by 3. And the way to think about this is, say you had like a cylinder. What's the formula for volume of a cylinder? Well, it's the area of the base times the height. But imagine if you put a cone inside of that cylinder with the same base and the same height. You could actually fit three of these cones inside of this cylinder. This one plus two more. So really this one cone on its own is only going to take up a third of the volume of the cylinder. So the area of the base, of course, is a circle. So that's going to be area of a circle, pi r squared. And then the height we want is actually that perpendicular height right here. Not the slant height, but the shortest distance between the two uh, bases here. So that simplifies down to just one third pi r squared h. So let's go ahead and apply these formulas to number one here. How do we find the lateral area? Well, we're just going to use the pi r l formula. So pi we know is 3.14, or we could just leave it as pi. The radius is 7, and the l is like your leaning height, that's your slant height. Well, in this particular problem, they didn't give us the slant height, but because we have a right triangle, we can do the Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height. Or if you recognize that this is a Pythagorean triple, it's a 7, 24, 25 Pythagorean triple. That's our slant height. So 7 times 25 is 175 pi units squared. So it's a unit squared for area. If we want to find the surface area, we just have to take the lateral area, which is the sides of the cone, plus the base, which is pi r squared. So we're just going to add on pi times the radius, which is 7 squared. That's 49 pi plus 175. So what does that come out to? We've got 4, uh, looks like 224 pi units squared. And then if we want to find the volume, we just have to do the area of the base times the height divided by 3, or times 1 third. Or you can use the 1 third pi radius squared times the height. And you want that perpendicular height, not the slant height. The slant height is used when you're finding the lateral area, not the not the volume. So let's see here we have 1 third, 7 squared is 49, times 24. Well, uh, 1 third times 24, that's going to reduce to 8. And 49 times 8, let's see what that comes out to. Okay, it's 392 pi units cubed. So remember, for volume, you want cubic units. And you've got it. If you want to see more examples involving like cylinders and prisms and pyramids and spheres, I put those all together in one video right there where you can see how the different formulas interrelate with one another and you can get some more practice with these problems. I'll see you over in that video right there.